Hello, sweet friends. This is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. Today I'm going to do some work in my junk planner journal, junk journal planner. I had it set up originally going until May, but I'm finding that I'm kind of running out of space. So I'm going to modify my setup, which is great if you feel like you have to follow rules. Um, because you don't. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to um, take the spread that I had May on and I'm going to um, do some painting on it. I just feel like I want to paint today and I really like working in this journal um, because it's so easy. It's so small and the pages are really thick. They're almost like uh, cardstock because I've glued them together. So I just, I want to work in this journal and I want to paint in it. And so I'm going to use May and that just means um, I'll have to start a new planner a little bit sooner than I had anticipated, but that's okay. So I just pulled out some colors of paint, um, ones that I love. I'm going to go for some light colors here. And what I'm going to do is just um, make some splotches of paint around the page and then let them dry in between because I don't really want them to mix. Sometimes I like to, to mix my paints, but this time I don't. I want the colors to stay their true color. And then always being the person that doesn't like to waste anything, I'm going to flip the page over and just use any leftover paint that's on my brush. I will um, put it on the page that's behind it. And I don't care about that page because I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to do on that page yet, so I'm just going to slap some paint down and I'll figure figure out what I'm going to do with that page uh, later on. So you might hear crows in the background um, or dogs barking because I'm sitting outside. It's a beautiful morning here. It's overcast. We've had a lot of rain. And I'm just soaking up um, the quietness and the, the really awesomeness of this morning. So I'm just kind of sitting out on the deck. So that's why you might hear some weird sounds in the background. So what you're not seeing, the part that I've cut out, is that in between several splotches, I'm using my, um, my little heat gun. And I am just he heating up the, the paint or drying the paint just enough so that I can add another layer and it won't mix. Because like I said, I don't, I don't really want these to mix. I want them to stay whatever uh, their true colors are. I want to see a clear separation between the colors. So that's the part that you're not seeing. I'm just using regular, um, you know, acrylic paints. I think I got those at Walmart. They're like 99 cents. Nothing, nothing fancy here. I just have... Um, pulled out a bigger container of some paint. This is just um, some paint I got at Michael's, so I don't have any really expensive paints or anything. I'm just using uh, cheapos, and they seem to work just fine. So if you notice, you can still see some of my May calendar uh, for coming up from the paint, and I'm a-okay with that. To me, it just adds more interest to my page and just adds yet another layer to my my layout here, and, and I love that. I am a-okay with stuff coming up from underneath and the text showing and my original marks showing. It kind of shows the the process or or tells the story um, of how the page evolved and turned out to be whatever it is and I have to be totally honest with you guys after I filmed this video I sat there with um, this journal on my desk and I played around with it for a long time just teeny tiny little marks um, that just were it, it was just silly stuff I was like I kept thinking, oh my gosh, I'm wasting time here because I wasn't doing anything. I was just putting down teeny tiny little marks all over the page, just really doodling. And the finished page that you're going to see is just, just a background, just a background. Like I'm just setting it up so that I can do journaling and stuff on it later. 
but after I did the background, I just I couldn't leave it alone. So I will get some pictures of what I have the page looking like now. And again, it's not done. It's 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 in stages. My purpose for this journal is it's sitting there when I come home from school. I pull it out. I pull out some markers and I play in it. Um, I maybe record memories. I write down maybe appointments and things that are coming up, but it's just a place to dump my thoughts. And so I just wanted a page that had paint on it so that when I come home, I have something really pretty to look at and I can dump my thoughts on this page. So that's that's where this whole paint thing is coming from. So once I did the paint um, and I pulled out a few extra colors just because I felt like I needed some more pops of color, but I still kept within that paint um, the, the same palette of those pastel, you know, light colors. Uh, once I do this, then I'm going to pull out some black. I think I've used it before. It's like speedball ink, India ink. I think people use it for calligraphy, but of course <laughs> I have no calligraphy skills. So I um, like it because it's really, really thin and I just use a teeny tiny paintbrush and I, I paint with it. Um, and you can write words and stuff with it if, if you if you have the patience for it. So I'm gonna pull out some black speedball ink here in just a second, and you're gonna see I add just a teeny bit of detail to this, but again, it's just a background, so I don't want to add too much. I'm just preparing it for when I want to journal. So as I start to use different kinds of paint, I start to notice that I have different finishes. So some of my paints are a matte finish. Some of my paints are glossy. This orange that I just put down, it's a metallic finish. Now, it looks really cool uh, when it's all together on that layout, but a problem, and it depends on whether or not you think it's a problem, but something that you can encounter is when you, if you're doing this for a background and you're using different finishes of paint, when you go to put things over top of it, the different finishes are going to accept your new media, whatever you're using, collage, glue, ink, um, I'm stamping here, it will accept it differently and it will give you a different look. So case in point, I am using a stamp and I'm just stamping down in the bottom. I'm using some archival ink, but because that orange is metallic, it has a slick finish and my stamp slid when I put it on there, which is no big deal because I wasn't looking for a perfect stamp anyway. And um, it actually worked in, to my advantage because it gave um, some different like some of the flowers were thicker than others and that's totally perfect. But just if you do a technique like this where you are keeping, trying to keep your paints separate, just know that if you use different finishes, it will give you a very cool effect, but it uh, does affect whatever you put on top. So here's my Speedball India ink and I'm just drawing with my paintbrush. It always takes a few minutes to get, to get you know, the rhythm of using um, how to use this paintbrush and stuff because you really just kind of let the brush do the work and I know that is such a silly thing to say because <laughs> that gives no one any information on how to use it but it, it really does you just let the brush especially the tip of the brush do all of the work and all of the motion is like in that tip of the brush so I'm just making some swirls and again playing off that my flowers down there, I have some dark ones and I have some light ones. I kind of want to do that same thing with the swirls. So I'm making some dark swirls and dark lines and then I'm going and making some lighter ones. And I like that effect. I like that I've got two different um, shades of black and it, that's that's exactly what I want. I think that's, that's the what I'm looking for and what I'm going for here. So perfect, perfect. I use that and then I let this dry and 
I decide just there's a few little details. Um, there's some like anytime I see circles, especially circles, or anytime I see a closed figure, it's just something in me. And I always feel like I've got to color it in. So there were a few circles in here that I'm going to color in with some pink paint. And then I was over in my drawer and I saw I had this part of a doily sitting around and I thought now that that would be cool to put that on. So um, I just glued that down and just using a little gift card here. I think it's a Starbucks card um, to smush it down. I love using gift cards to adhere things whenever I use paint. So that just, I don't even know why I put it on there. I just put it on there because I kind of like the daintiness of the, the doily up against those big splotches and then the white up against the black. And then here I am going in, like I said, with anytime I see a closed figure, I'm just kind of coloring it in with um, some of my leftover paint. And then I'm gonna go and pull out some of my favorite uh, hot pink paint. It's a little bit darker than what I'm using now and I'm just going to add a little extra smush of paint inside those circles. So I'm just about done here just finishing up the last little details and making sure it's all dry because I don't want to close it and get everything all smushed. So this this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted this page to just kind of have a blank, if you will, uh, surface for me to journal on. Lots of room for me to do whatever I, I feel like doing when I come home from school one day. Um, I am going to add a couple of little, and you'll see it here in just a second. I had a couple of little flowers. One is some wrapping paper that I cut into um, a flower and I glued it on and then the other one is just um, I drew some flowers and colored them in. So I have lots of places for doodling and all kinds of good stuff. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy and I hope you do something creative. Bye.